Ready. Prepare for liftoff. Welcome to episode 129 of the K1 Agenda. Today is October 21st, 2022. Um, early in the morning, <clears throat> I just finished doing a small, short workout, and I'm just trying to get myself up today for this. I'm a little tired and it's cold in Detroit. Ugh. And I'm not ready for the winter. That's for that's for damn sure. But um, I am I'm back at episode 129. Um, back to drinking water and eating better. With um, like I said, a couple of short workouts right now till I um get my strength back up and um build up to longer workouts. Um, first up, I want to mention um out right now um is a project that I'm doing on the Harbonder um label which is Strand, uh, the group Strand. Um, it's a project called Oral Mining, and um, this is the second project uh, of, this is the second out of two, which is the Oral Mining Project 2. Um, and I have a track on it called uh, Sector 9 and Plan of, Plan of Escape. Please check this out. It's released now. It's out now. Pick it up now on the uh, the Harbonder uh, Blueprint. It's uh, only available digitally. You can pick it up everywhere. Um, just check out the um, the links below to get information on uh, where you can uh, purchase the, uh, the, the release. Also, releasing today, PBX 36 Optic Nerve Fragments EP releases today. Pick this up, I'm so proud of this release. Um, it's been a long time coming for me to uh, actually finally have my own uh, album cover uh, with me on the album cover. Um, I'm proud of this. I'm, I'm proud of the, the whole look, the aesthetic, the um, just uh, the shoulder growth of uh, what my artwork has become and uh, my concepts and stuff. But um, out today, it's just released today. It, it, it means you can get it. It's available everywhere. If you don't have it, please contact uh, us so you can get it. Um, <clears throat> and, um, 
like I said, this is a, a long time coming. I, I'm really proud of this Optic Nerve Fragments EP. Pick this up. And uh, right now, we're going to preview one of the tracks. So check it out. We're going to preview. Uh, let me see what track we're going to preview this time. We're going to do. Um, let's see here. What track we're going to preview this time again? Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to preview Echoes. Yes, pick that up. Also, pick up PBX 35, the unidentifiable EP with DJ Mako, <clears throat> Detroit legend from Detroit in Effect, and also myself, K1, um, release out now. They're still available. Pick it up. Here is a track. I'm going to preview both tracks. Here is Mako's track, uh, The People. Check it out. Take it from the top. Yes, and also here's my track call on my computer. K1. 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 Yes, remember, pick that up. That's PBX 35, the unidentifiable EP. DJ Mako and DJ K1. Also, <clears throat> remember, um, once a month, I'm doing an interview with very special people who uh, influenced me or had some type of, uh, uh, you know, um, impact on my life. Um, and we started the first two interviews. Uh, episode 20, 122 is uh, Catch Harrington from Strand. Check that out. And episode 126 is uh, Eddie Folks, one of the uh, Detroit Techno originators. Uh, check those out. Once again, Eddie Folks, episode 126. Catch Harrington from Strand is 122. So check those out. We have another one coming up in two weeks. Uh, another interview coming up with another uh, special uh, person. So check that out. Also, remember, as I stated last week, get ready in 2023 for the new Alien FM 2023. Once again, we're doing studio sessions um, very soon, and um, we will um, definitely be getting uh, that Alien FM out in 2023. Once again, that's Black Tony and Keith Tucker. So get ready for that. Also, um, still working on 2023 on... Um, K1 dates for DJing to get out here and promote um, Puzzle Boss Records worldwide. Uh, we'll have more news uh, coming in 2023 on the booking agent that will be handling all K1 DJ dates. Also, if you're looking to book um, Optic Nerve, please contact Daniel at Connect Bookings. He will sort you out for all live show um, bookings for Optic Nerve. Thank you. Puzzle Boss Records. Um, Puzzle Boss Records is my label. It's been around since 1995. That's when it was started. Um, I just want to let people know if you want to buy any of the old music that we have, uh, some repressings and some new stuff that we're pressing, because we're going to be pressing old stuff, as well, some more old repressings as well, please contact distribution at puzzleboxrecords.com, and we will sort you out with a wholesale order. Um, first off, PBX34 which is um, K1 Meets Marty Bonds. That's the Cosmic Flight EP, the latest release. Pick that up. It's been doing very well. It's on a lot of DJs lists, a lot of DJs lists and stuff, and top 10 lists. So I'm very proud of that. That track of Marty's, man, uh, to fly, is, is awesome. So please pick that up. Also, PBX TR3, Optic Nerve Trilogy Wave. That's from the uh, Trilogy Wave um, 3... Um, 
uh, EP set. This is Wave 3. It's back in stock and it's directly from us now. You can buy it directly from us. It was originally um, only being distributed by uh, Rubber Dub Records out of Glasgow, but now we have it back and we're exclusive, exclusively distributing it ourselves. And you've got to get that track. The track on there is called The Gateway. It's a very unique optic nerve track I did back in the 90s. Also, pick up PBXC 230. That's the Alien FM double pack. Uh, original double pack called the original broadcast is repressed and back in stock. Pick that up. Also, pick up PBX 32 Stargazing EP K1 featuring the awesome Doppler effect. Pick that up. It's on color vinyl as well. Uh, limited edition color vinyl. Also, pick up PBX 3 Face Your Fate with the great writings of Black Tony. And it's also an a cappella on here, so pick that up. Also, pick up PBX 8.5 Electropathics EP, Repressing in Stock Now. That features the track Detroit Parties Rock Like This. Also, pick up PBX 4, the Automaton EP, for, with the tracks um, Technos, on my mind, Technos on My Mind, Nemesis, and Oscillator. Also, pick up Modular World K1 EP. This is my K1 um, Electro Funk more minimalized pick that up it's called modular world and that's pbx 29 also pick up the third release for um alien fm which is called monochromatic images featuring the vocals from kayla mcknight black tony and k1 pick that up also pick up pbx 31 voice modulation um from the album mad scientist aux 88 presents the mad scientist pick that up uh, we will be put, putting out more uh, EPs from um, my releases with uh, AUX88 from that Mad Scientist album. Um, this was a great track uh, done by Tommy Hamilton. Also, PBX33, Strand Meets Optic Nerve. We have a few of those left, so pick those up. It did quite well, but we do have a few more left, and we want to uh, we want to uh, get those out. So thank you. And once again, if you have any questions and you'd like to uh, talk to us about getting these records in your uh, record store and you want to uh, get it wholesale, please hit up distribution at puzzleboxrecords.com. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to let you know that now the Optic Nerve t-shirts is available. Alien FM t-shirts is available. All my designs I did formerly when I was in AUX88, all the designs I did for Direct B Classics, all the Detroit designs I did, you can get them in t-shirts, hoodies, um, baseball shirts, coffee mugs, phone cases, um, laptop bags, everything is available. And you can order this and have pretty good, reasonable shipping because the t-shirts are printed in, in countries all around the world. So please take note. Here's the, uh, the link and you can buy all the material and keep watching out because I have a sale twice a month where it's 35% off everything in the store. So thank you once again for supporting and look for those new designs coming. Thank you. K1 out. Question of the week. As always, if you have any questions, please email me at puzzlebox at puzzleboxrecords.com and I will kindly sort you out with the answer or to any questions you may have. Um, this week's question is a simple one. Um, it's uh, what's your favorite instrument in the studio? Um, drums, etc. cetera, synths, drum machines, um, et cetera. Um, and that's a simple one. Uh, anyone who knows me or really listens to my music, my favorite instrument is synthesizers. Um, er, I started working, my very first synthesizer that I actually learned how to edit on was the Casio CZ101. And from there, I was able to pretty much, I mean, I'm not bragging, but I could create any sound that I heard in any record.
that I was listening to at the time. So I had, if I needed a, a really 808 kick, I could get it from there. If I needed, you know, just some weird synthy sounds, some strings or whatever, um, that's what I that's what that's what I started off on, and then eventually moved up to more advanced keyboards. But it's nothing like um, uh, coming from the the background of Detroit techno, man. It was it was always funny to go to people's studios. <laughs> And everybody would always be sitting by those keyboards, man, editing, 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 making up their own. You might have, you know, the keyboard comes with sounds already, but you're able to, you know, for those who don't know, you're able to edit and make more sounds and create your own sounds. And that was one thing that was a stickler about Detroit Techno. Um, people always did that um, in the early days. That's what it was about, was creating something fresh and new. And um, you had to... Uh, that you could always listen to the music and tell that person really put some heart into it and worked on it. So I started learning that, man, learning what different things meant and how to use them, man, and I, that's always been my thing. So, you know, if you don't know, listen to a lot of my music and listen to the synth parts. I, it was a lot of love and a lot of um, time put into creating the sounds. And uh, once again, that was the question. That's my favorite instrument is uh, a synthesizer. So, uh, Thank you. And if anyone else has any more questions, please email PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com. Thank you. old pick video this week let's go into some old um more vintage pictures that i picked up yeah. um right here um let me see i remember um just just i like to tell a few stories to go along with these pictures um well, some of my first times going overseas um i remember um what they did a lot of was it, it would you would always get interviews it might be magazines uh, meet up with you and i remember when i went to uh I think it was uh, Austria, Vienna, Austria. The first thing they did was um, I had a, a interview with a magazine. I can't remember what it was, but um, they um, took me, picked me up and everything. and took me to a, 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 a shipyard, an old shipyard uh, where they had um, old ships and stuff and where they would uh, dismantle them and everything. It's like, yeah, we, we want to take you to this, you know, so you can get your pictures taken. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And it was just so cool because, um, you know, I was all new to this whole thing. And um, here's some of the pictures from that very first shoot, man. This had to be in 1995, 1996, um, back in the day. Here, here's, here's some pictures uh, from me uh, from that particular um, photo shoot. Yeah, there's a couple. Um, and what was cool about these was at that time, you know, um, but these would be in all the magazine ads. And then, you know, when you did a show, a lot of these pictures would be used for the posters and any flyers that was used uh, when you played overseas and stuff. And that was always um, um, really cool to have some professional shots from these, um, you know, magazines or different people came and you know, had really great ideas on how to take pictures. But uh, I always um, I always liked doing that because you would have something that was really special and look really professional. Um, also, I remember um, doing, um, this was years ago, I was asked to play, um, to when I, um, the second time I was asked to play uh, as, uh, to back up Juan Atkins in his uh, live shows. Um, here's a picture of me, um, playing um, as uh, Model 500 with a, a few other artists uh, that were asked to play. But I'm most proud not of uh, this picture or or of this picture here, like a little behind the scenes when we're doing sound check and stuff like that. I'm very proud of this one picture. See this this beautiful lady? This is Laura Gavor. She was Juan Atkins' um, manager, man. And she was very integral in helping all the artists and helping with the whole Detroit techno movement, man. We are, uh, she passed away some years ago, really miss her. And, uh, I remember the times that she would always, um, if I was doing anything with Juan, she always got me into, you know, the magazine articles or the trading times, um, magazine. She would always put my name down that I was the, uh, you know, the guy programming the stuff and helping out and, you know, giving me props. So I always, uh, loved her for that, and she was just a, a, a sweetheart and just so nice to talk to. We, we miss you, Laura Gavor. And um, 
if you guys were lucky enough to meet her, you, you would know what I mean. Not only beautiful, but just a, a, a breath of fresh air, man. She was always had a beautiful smile and always had, um, she knew what she was talking about, about her music. Um, we'll see you next week on Old Pick and Videos and I'll tell another story, get some videos out and some old pics. Thank you. Thoughts of the week. Thoughts of the week. My thoughts of the week this week, I've been thinking about this. Um, mother. That's what I'm going to say. M-O-T-H-E-R. Mother. Uh, we all, everyone has a mother. Um, uh, I hope that um, you're as lucky as I am to have someone that um, my mom's has always been someone that I could like look up to because she was always, um, always striving to be better always doing something to better herself to learn more to figure out how to do something that's where i got that from that's where i got that from it's like if ever i have something that i'm trying to figure out got that from my mom she's gonna sit there and she's gonna figure it out figure it out and get it and get it and, and do it well 110 percent so um uh once again thoughts of the week is mothers man i just want to say cherish your time that you have with your mom i'm lucky enough to still have my mom's and um, you don't realize it when you're younger, but, you know, as you get older, you start to uh, realize, you know, man, how how much um, of a role they played in your life and what you learn from your moms. And like my uh, friend Pete says, uh, Pete always says, uh, I'll always love my moms. You know, we got that from uh, that song. I'll always love my moms to the day I die. Um, I, I don't want to get. I'm not going to go too much into it. I, man, as, as I start talking about my moms, I always get, it start getting too emotional. But uh, my thoughts of the week, <laughs> that's more of a thought of the week every week. Um, mothers, man, don't don't take them for granted, man. I had um, some very special mothers in my life, Miss Dent, Miss Hill, um, you know, and a few other people, man. And um, never forget, you know, just that motherly love they had and advice and just just you know showing you and telling you how to take care of business um special special shouts out to um miss hill she was very integral man just a special lady that i would never ever ever forget love you miss hill miss dent um always played a, a pivotal role man um in taking care of uh us the uh four my four besties, man, that we always spent a lot of time together. But uh, on that note, I want to say mothers, nothing like mothers. Um, I have all types of mothers, man. I got <laughs> Miss Mays. Uh, I have uh, Miss Dow. I have uh, Miss Claudie, man. I have so many uh, mother figures, man. Uh, Brenda, who were, uh, were always there for me, man. And I love them to death. Thank you. See you in the next uh, Thoughts of the Week. Shout outs as every week, as we always talk about every week. Uh, here's my brother. He just turned 58, October 4th. If you know of his whereabouts, you know anything uh, related to my brother's name is Mark Antonio Tucker. Please contact me at PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com so we can uh, get my brother um, back and, you know, back into uh, this whole family uh, family. Family dynamic, man, and because everybody misses him and always asking questions about him, and uh, I hope that um, sooner or later, man, uh, me having social media, that we can uh, um, find him and uh, he can contact me. But once again, if you have any information, please contact me at PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com. Um, today, I want to say, um, well, my mother's birthday was Wednesday, <clears throat> and I want to send a special happy. 76th birthday to my mom love you endlessly and um i'm looking forward to tomorrow i'm going i'm going to see her they're, they're going to be going to columbus to visit some other relatives and um i'm going to go visit her in columbus um 
and see her and I'm looking forward to it. Love you, Ma. Happy birthday. And um, you never, nobody's ever made the number 76 look so good. My mom's is uh, amazing. Love you. Happy birthday. And on that note, as always, I will be calling my moms and pops today, <clears throat> see how they doing. And, um, you know, just checking on your parents, man, who, who've been there for you through thick and thin. Um, it's been kind of a somber uh, episode. I know um, it's very early in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I wanted to get up and get this done. Um, once again, I can't stress enough to everybody. Thank you so much for checking out my page. Thank you so much for your comments you make on social media about my new release and new releases I have coming, any type of news and stuff. It, it doesn't go without me um, not appreciating it. Thank you. And on that note, I'll see you on the next K1 Agenda, which will be episode 130. Hey, I just wanted to say, everyone, please hit that subscribe button for YouTube and please subscribe to my page. Um, I really have enjoyed all the support I've been getting, but hey, like this and subscribe to this page. Keith Tucker K1, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.